Okay, today we will be in chapter two, section one, combining like terms. Our two topic objectives for today are to identify like terms and combine them, and to simplify an expression by removing parentheses and combining like terms. Chapter two, section one, combining like terms. Terms. The parts in an algebraic expression that are added are called the terms of the expression. So here's two examples of expressions. The first one is negative 3x plus 8y minus 15. The second expression is 6w to the second power plus 12z minus 1 third. So the terms in our first expression are the negative 3x, the positive 8y, and the negative 15. The terms in our second expression are the 6w to the second power, the 12z, and the minus one third. The numerical part of the term is the numerical coefficient or simply the coefficient. So our term is negative three x and the coefficient then is the negative three. Our second example, our term is eight y. So the coefficient is just the eight. The third example is a little bit harder, x over three. So our coefficient in that case would be one third. And that is because x over three is the same thing as one x over three, which means one third times x. So that's something to really make note of because that can get a little confusing. But if you only have a variable on top, then you can pull it out to the side and put a one on top instead, just like this case shows you. Our last example is the six W to the second power. We're looking for just the numerical coefficient and that would be our six. Okay, like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variables with the same exponents. So here's a couple examples of like terms. On the first row, our first example, we have negative three X, we have eight X, and we have negative one third X. Notice that they all have X, and the X only has a power of one. In our second example, we have six W to the second power, negative 12 W to the second power, and then just W to the second power. These are all like terms. They all have the same variable. They all have W's with the same exponent. Each of those W's is raised to the second power. Thus, all three of those are like terms. So let's see some unlike terms just so that we can kind of compare them. Our first example says 20X, then we have X squared, and we have X to the third. The first example they have all the same variables. We're only dealing with x's. However, we don't have the same exponents. 20 to the x, 20 x, the x is just to the first exponent. Our second one is x to the second power and our third one is x to the third power. So those do not have the same exponents, so those are not like terms. Our second example, we have six x, y, 2xyz and then w squared, w to the second power. So do we have the same variables? In the first one we have an x and a y, the second one we have an xyz, and the third one we have a w. So those three examples do not have the same variables. So these are not like terms. So we could not combine them. And that is what our next one is on, combining like terms. One, we need to determine, excuse me, determine which terms are like terms. Then we need to add or subtract the coefficients of the like terms. And then we need to multiply the number found in step two by the common variables. We will work an example to show you how this works, but this is the steps that you'll need to go through when you combine like terms. So here's an example. We have 5a plus 7a. 
first thing we need to note, do we have like terms? We have 5a and we have 7a. Those are both a, so those are the same variable. Do they have the same exponent? They do, so that means we can combine them. So if we can combine them, then we need to add or subtract the coefficients. So in this case, we're adding. So we have 5 plus 7, which will give us our 12a. Next, we're going to do the distributive property. For any real numbers, a, b, and c, a and then b plus c in parentheses equals a, b plus, and that's supposed to say a, c. Sorry about that. The distributive property was talked about in chapter 1, section 10, if you need to go back and do that homework again to get you refreshed on it. But here's an example. We have 3, and then in our parentheses we have x plus 5 and that equals 3x plus 15. What we did was we distributed in our 3 to each of the things inside. But here's a word of caution. This does not equal to 18x. These are not like terms. We have 3x and then we have 15. The 15 does not have a variable of x next to it, so we cannot combine it to our 3x. That is a very common mistake to make, and it's very easy to make. So you have to be really careful with that. Okay, let's go on to simplifying an expression. First thing we're going to do is use the distributive property to remove any parentheses. We are going to combine like terms, and that's how we're going to simplify an expression. So here's an example. We need to simplify three times x plus y plus 2y. So our first step is we need to use the distributive property to get rid of those parentheses. So we need to distribute that 3 in and that'll give us 3x plus 3y and then we still have that 2y outside. Then we need to combine our like terms. We can't combine the 3x with anything because there's no other x's to combine it with. But we do have 3y and 2y. So we can combine those and that will give us 5y. We can't combine the 3x and the 5y because they do not have the same variables. So that's as far as we can simplify that problem. And that's what that says. Remember 3x plus 5y cannot be combined because they are not like terms. Now let's open up your homework for 2.1 and let's work a few problems. I haven't pre-selected these, so we'll just go through and kind of see which ones we want to do. Okay, this is a good example. It says combine like terms when possible. If not possible, rewrite the expression as it is. So we have y plus 5 plus 3y. So remember, like terms have the same variable with the same exponent. So if we look, we have a y. That's a variable, so that means we need to look for something else with a y. The 5 doesn't have a y, so we can't combine it with that. But we can combine it with the 3y over here. So we have 1y plus 3y, and that will give us 4y. We cannot combine that 4y with the 5 because the 5 does not have a variable. So that should be our final answer. Let's skip ahead. Let's skip some more. Okay, let's do number nine. Number nine is again combining like terms. And our problem is 3x minus 9y minus 6x plus 7y. In this case, we have two different variables playing. So let's just look at the ones with the x's. We'll look at the 3x minus the 6x. We can combine those because they're both x's, and they both have an exponent of 1. So we can do that. So 3x minus 6x will give us a minus 3x. Then we can look at just our y's. We have a minus 9y plus 7y. Those are the same variable with the same exponent. That means we can combine them. So the minus 9y plus the 7y will give us a minus 2y. 
We cannot combine our negative 3x and our negative 2y because they are different variables. So that will be our final answer. Let's jump ahead. Okay, number 11 says to use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. Remember, our distributive property says that a, and then the parentheses, b plus c is the same thing as ab plus ac. So that means we need to take our 3 and multiply it by everything that's inside of there. So we have 3x, and then 3 times negative 3 will give us a negative 9. And that's all you have to do for that problem. Let's jump ahead and let's do number 16. This will be the last homework problem that I help you with. This one is just saying to simplify. So there's our expression. We have negative 7 times 3 minus x, then plus 24. So what we need to do first is our order of operations. Remember, it's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So the first thing we're looking for is parentheses. We gotta do our parentheses first. So we have that negative seven out front that is multiplying in. We're gonna use the distributive property to do that. So that will give us a negative 21 plus seven X plus 24. So now we have a number without a variable, a number without a variable, and then one number with a variable. So we can't do anything with that one with a variable because there's nothing to combine it with, but we can combine our negative 21 plus our 24, and that'll give us a positive three. So we have seven X plus three. We can't combine those because they don't have the same variable. And that's it. So, good luck on your homework and good luck on your quizzes.